A few years ago, smartphones with NFC were relatively rare, but today it is normal for high-end models and most mid-range devices to have them. This technology, in addition to allowing us to pay with the telephone, is also used to take advantage of other very interesting features. In today's video, we'll tell you what an NFC tag is and what are the 10 best creative home automation ideas using NFC tags. Stay tuned for more! If you're new to our channel, we warmly welcome you. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and hit the notification button so you'll never miss out on any of our home automation videos. Let's not waste any more time and move on with the video. So what are NFC tags and how do they work? NFC tags are very simple devices. They are just tags with an NFC chip inside. This chip can be written and read by the NFC of our smartphone. In this way, our smartphones automate actions quickly and easily. NFC tags are working on the concept of electromagnetic induction, a process in which there are two coils very close to each other, and when one of them is passed through by an electric current, the other coil also receives an induced current. At number 10 on our list is Storytime. Storytime helps us tap on our smartphone device and use Google speakers to play a recording of someone who is reading the actual story previously. For example, if your parents cannot be close to their grandchildren, you can have them record their voice, store that in Home Assistant, and have this routine automation trigger the recording when they read the book. This can also be useful for people whose parents are far away for other work purposes, like being deployed in the military. You can also do this automation with Alexa and Sonos, but you need to tweak the code a little bit. Number 9. Garage Door This automation helps us control garage doors more effectively. To use NFC tags here, you need to download a dedicated application that allows you to write and read them. There are many alternatives, but the best known is called NFC Tools, which is available on iOS and Android and is completely free. Simply download it, Bring your phone close to the NFC tag, and that can open up your garage door without having to press the button on your key fob. You can also conveniently hide this sticker somewhere close to your garage, and then you can use your phone to detect it. But be aware, never put it close to metal surfaces because NFC tags use a magnetic field, so that really won't work well. NFC tags do not only help you control your doors remotely. The app is also very easy to use with your home door as well. All you need is to create a shortcut on your phone and do the action you want to easily. Number 8. Medicine Reminders Some people get very confused about whether or not they took their medicine on time, so they rely on family members to remind them, but what if there is no one to help? If you're a very forgetful person and forget to take your medication, then NFC tags can help you out. All you need to do is create an input where every day it resets and it will tell you if you have taken your medication or not. This can be reset daily, hourly, weekly, depending on your configuration. This automation can be used in this code and logic. It can also be used for multiple purposes. LED lights. Unlike a button, tags can be placed easily in different places and can be uniquely identified without wiring or networking. With the NFC tags connected to an NFC application on your phone, you can have your lights turn on to a specific color, at a specific brightness, and between a specific period, but on specific days and have them automatically turn off after a specific number of minutes. With a simple touch of the NFC badge stuck on your coffee table, the app will navigate directly to the living room room, for instance, and you can change the lighting without missing a second of your evening TV program. Remember, there are several types of NFC chips. Each chip has a certain amount of memory, usually measured in bytes. The larger the number of bytes, the more data it can store. So, you'll have to select NFC types based on your needs. Number 6. Alarms With an NFC tag conveniently positioned to your front door, you can disarm your alarm. You could have another one to arm it in case that's something you want to do, which might be very useful. You can also use this alarm. The advantage of having this instead of a keypad is that you can hide the sticker anywhere. You can have it behind something where no one will know there's an NFC tag there. Number 5. Watering the plants If you're not a good gardener and your plant seems to be in poor condition, then you might need this automation. It will enable you to know when the last time you watered the plant was. You can track that in-home assistant and use an NFC tag close to the pot. It can scan that with your phone and get a timestamp of when the last time the plant was watered. 
Hopefully that'll save a couple of plants out there. You can see now how NFC tags are so quick, helpful, and easy to use for different tasks, and watering your plant is just one of them. Number 4. Garden Lights In most homes, your garden light switch is inside the house. So if you're outside the house and you want to turn on and off the light by having this NFC tag positioned under your garden table, all you will have to do is scan it to toggle the switch. If it's on, it will go off, and it's off, it will go back on. With this feature, you can control actions for all the room lights of your home. This includes the lights of your bathroom, bedroom, living room, kitchen, and so on. Number 3. We have Smart TV To facilitate management and user interaction with TVs, especially after the emergence of smartphones, televisions also began to support technological cooperation between various devices including near-field communication or NFC tags. They are an ideal smart home solution that you can enjoy the convenience and enjoyment of technology with using less money. With TVs, this NFC technology allows the user to operate their television. You can have a sticker set up on your table and when you lift your phone to it, it automatically launches the application to control your TV. Install the TV Tag On application on your phone. Once the installation is completed, you can bring your phone again towards your TV and scan the NFC tag you have already stuck near or behind the TV. After you accept the remote application, the TV screen will then be available on your phone. Now, thanks to the NFC function, you can control your TV and take any action you want via your phone. Number 2. Smart Washing and Drying with a simple touch between the NFC sticker and your NFC-enabled device, you can get full control over your washer or drying machine. Thanks to these small tags, you can get notifications to know where your laundry cycle is complete. It will also help you to get notifications without having to buy a new washing machine. Even if you're outside the home, NFC tags can help you both start and stop your washer or dryer remotely. At number 1, we have Wi-Fi for guests in your home. This automation doesn't make use of home assistance, but it is super handy to have. With it, you have the guest network details written to an NFC sticker which is then attached to the fridge, for example. It lets guests touch their NFC-enabled devices to that sticker, which then adds a network for them without entering any of the details like the SSID or password. The only things you might want to note is that the network add-in seems to only work if you use an Android device. And next up, if you're sticking NFC stickers on your fridge, you should be aware that magnets can interfere with NFC signals. The last thing to know about this automation is that if you're writing your Wi-Fi details to an NFC tag, they're stored as a plain store, so anyone could read them and using your network, if somebody scans it, they can get your password. Now that we've come down to the end of the video, what automation ideas did you like the most? Let us know your answers down in the comments section below, and if you want to be updated with more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell for notifications in the future. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I really hope to see you again next time.